Amos was prophesying by the Spirit of the Lord about the kingdom of Israel's end, it did come in 722 BC when it was conquered by the Assyrians. And the people, this is the people of God, the Israelites, were carried off into captivity. Okay? They became the ten lost tribes. Okay? Okay. Remember, after Solomon, the nation, the nation of Israel, which had been a, a unified nation, mm-hmm. with with the capital in Jerusalem, was divided between the north, ten tribes in the north, and then Judah basically down in the south, right? But the north was capt- ca- carried off into captivity. Now, it's, it's really worth pondering, meditating on this, all right? Okay. What other prophets were saying in that same time frame, mm-hmm. in that same period of time, mm-hmm. all right? Mm-hmm. I want to quote from two who were basically contemporaries, Hosea and Isaiah. The prophet Hosea said, "My," and this is God speaking through them, right? my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also will reject you from being my priest. Since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. Hosea 4, 6. That's pretty serious stuff. And then Isaiah says in Isaiah 5, 13, Therefore, my people go into captivity for their lack of knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude is parched with thirst. So you get this? What's it boiled down to? Disobedience? Not knowing God's word? If you don't know God's word, I'm going to tell you something. You don't know God. That's right. You may have some vague impression. It's like, you know, you may you, you may look and turn on the, the telly and see your favorite movie star and say, I know it. You don't know him. You don't know him at all. And if you don't have an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ, you don't know him at all. And if you don't know his word, the things that he's spoken, you don't know him. And what he wants us to know is in his word. From Genesis 1 to Revelation 22. He has revealed That's right. his plan. He has revealed his love for us. I'm, I'm, you have to know it. That's why, you know, Jesus said this, and we've talked about this so many times during this study. In John chapter 8, he said, if you abide in my word, dwell in my word, reside in my word, continue in my word, however you want to say it. You're truly my disciples. You will know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You've got to be abiding in the word. You know, Alice and I, we spent a lot of time over over in the UK and in Europe. Mm -hmm. And I was reading an article, I, I don't remember exactly where it was, this week. I think while we were at sea, I actually saw it in the news about how in Britain, so few Anglicans have, don't have any knowledge of the scriptures whatsoever. Mm. Well, then you're not Christian. No. Because it's not like it's not like you're living in some land where the Bible doesn't exist yes. or you're not allowed. I mean, my goodness, there's no excuse for you not to know the word. The only excuse is you don't want to know it. That's right. And that's what it is. You don't want to know it. People go into captivity, people perish for their lack of knowledge. Because they reject it. Because they reject it. Okay? So, I, like I said, I don't know exactly when the end is coming, but I know it's coming. Mm-hmm. And I also know that it's preceded by bad stuff. Yes. Wars and rumors of wars. Violence increasing. Lawlessness increasing. I mean, go read Matthew 24 and see the things that Jesus said. Earthquake. Go, go read... Mm-hmm. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and see what Paul said to the son of the faith, Timothy, about these last days. I mean, these are not pleasant times, okay? So I, this is just a little aside. But it really makes me curious why in an age like ours, when people are such lovers of self, and boy they are, mm-hmm. just like Paul said to Timothy, in a time when every so many people are so focused on longevity, Right? I'm living longer on vitamins, on exercise, on health foods, on air quality, safety features, and all kinds of products, investing for in retirement, etc., etc., and on and on and on and on ad nauseum. Why don't they invest in the real retirement? They don't have, see, that's the point. They don't have to invest because 
The free gift of God is eternal, eternal life. life. Right. So here they are struggling. The masses of people, including Christians, are struggling to stay on this planet a little bit longer. I guess they didn't know what Paul knew when he said to live as Christ, to die as gain. And yet the free gift of God is eternal life, and they reject that. That makes no sense whatsoever. And the whole head is sick. That's what the Bible says. The way is clear, my path is straight. I'm full of love instead of hate. I see the Lord